Hello my legends, welcome to another video for Vitech Visual Innovative Technology. I'm Matthew Lavis. Hopefully you come to the right video, which is how do you upgrade from Windows 2012 R2 virtual machine, or any machine, doesn't really matter if it's physical or virtual, uh, and g do uh, an in-place upgrade to 2016. Well, I'm going to show you how. And so first you need to have, number one, you need to have a Windows machine uh, 2012 version of machine uh, I'm gonna go ahead and not activate this and I'm gonna stick this in my directory so this is the 2012 and this is the do uh, data center version so we'll just put DC for not domain controller but do yeah we'll just keep it this way R2 okay and so actually big warning 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 there which is you need you need to be able to have your 2012 R2 server um, it needs to be able to um, be another, so whatever license you currently have on your 2012 R2 server needs to be the same, okay, it needs to be identical to the matching upgrade for 2016, obviously it's not going to be R2, but it is going to be something, and that something is going to be, is what's going to matter. It will not work if you want to keep an in-place upgrade to the existing version. Okay, it, it will fail. Um, so let's go ahead and go through this real quick. So 60s thing number one is you need to make sure your version of your license of your 2012 R2 is the identical version of your 2016 upgrade. Okay, if it is not, you you can continue on with the installation. That's not the problem. The problem is you cannot keep any of your files, your SQL databases, your Active Directory, all these things are going to be a brand new fresh installation. It will wipe out your previous, it'll reformat your 2012 disks and reformat with 2016 uh, 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 installation. So that doesn't help you. So that is a word of caution if you're listening to this. Do not do the upgrade. If you are wanting to keep all your stuff, they must be the identical license, okay? Uh, number two is um, when you're installing uh, Windows 2016, you must do your, your domain prep and you must do your forest prep uh, for your requirements, okay? Uh, and then warning number three is you must have a, an administrator, a local administrative account. The Windows 2012 is installed. Let's go ahead and sign in. So let's just do some test things real quick. So you can tell this is live. <clears throat> so we'll just call this test. Make a folder. Um, test folder. We're going to install some Active Directory in here. Because that's probably what you guys are going to have anyways. Um, it's pretty common for, uh, for everyone. So Active Directory Domain Services. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Install. And so we'll go ahead and so you, you can see that this server be more like a typical uh, environment where there you guys have DNS, uh, DHCP, but most uh, most importantly you're going to have group policy, GPO, DNS, and Active Directory Domain Services, which this does all of that anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the installation. So it'll be more or less a mirror of what you guys have, which is some documents, some folders, some downloads, some uh, scripties, and roles and features. Pretty simple stuff. It's a new forest. It's going to call the uh, next. All right, so this part's easy. So this is what I was referring to. So here's the warning, which is you need to go to the control panel and add a local user account, or you already have a local user account, but it needs to change it for another, uh, for a local administrator, this particular one. So let's create a new password. Quizits. And we'll be good to go. And everything came back, and now we just install it, and you'll see me when we go through the 2016 section here shortly. Alrighty, so continuing on, make sure you're definitely signed in to your domain name, like I am about to right now, so that's why it's going to take just a second to set up my profile. Okay, so we're going to go to 2016 Windows Standard Core Edition. Okay, we're just going to hit OK. Okay. 
It's going to log us off because of the VMware's tools. It's installing. But, so, you sign in, make sure you go to settings or you install your ISO or wherever your ISO file is uh, at. As you can see here, I have Active Directory domain services running and a DNS server and file servers running. Everything's up running for perfectly fine. I have don't have my test folders here, so let's go ahead and do that again. Test. And it's just a text document, so you can see what I'm... This is real. Hello, world. And, yeah. Okay, so now that that's done, go ahead and put in the ISO file. And we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to connect the 2016 ISO file. And if you're like me, it may automatically just have it ready for you to click on. Um, okay, so you're going to run into a couple errors. So first, go ahead and open it. And then while it's doing that, I'm going to tell you what you need to do. So this is what, step four? So step four, right click on this, hit open. You're going to go to... Sorry, you're going to go to support. You're going to shift click here and hit open command here. My bad. And you're going to click on the AD prep, shift click the AD prep, like I was saying, and then hit open command here. And then we're going to do AD prep forest prep, and this will be in the description below. So here's why I'm going to do that. So we'll let this load, and I'll show you why you need to run this command first. Okay. Okay, so now that we got that up, uh, it's ready to go. So I'm going to, you, you guys would go ahead and do this update section. Um, but I'm not from a dev environment, so let's go ahead and do the installation. So here's where it's important. So as you can see here at the bottom right hand corner, it is a Windows Server uh, R2 data center. Okay, so it needs to be the exact same thing, right? So if I do standard, this will not work. I need to click on the exact same license that I have. So in this case, it'd be the data center desktop experience. I'll hit accept. And see, if you if you do not, this will reformat your drive. So don't do that. I want to keep everything. I want to keep my domain. I want to keep my actual directory. I want to keep my folders. I want to keep my test uh, files. I want to keep my SQL instance going. I just wanted to do an upgrade. That's all. That's where this comes in. So this will come back. It's going to go and check through a bunch of prerequisites. And that's where we're going to fail. So get ready. Alrighty, so here we are. So as you can see... This won't work because we haven't done it yet. So if you already have a 2012 Active Directory, you're going to need to run this command within the ISO file directory of the new 2016. So let's go ahead and run it. And you're just going to confirm it. So you're going to type in C, uppercase C, and enter. And it's going to update all the entries. So if you have a big uh, Active Directory tree, this will take a long time. Uh, so go get a cup of coffee and come back. For, fortunately for me, it was really simple. So then we just do the same thing, and then we do domain prep. And there it is. That's it. And now we can exit out of the command prompt. We're going to hit confirm, and this will go away. As you can see, everything checked box, and it keeps all the apps and files. And we're just going to click install. Again, now this will take even longer than the, well, it could take longer than the Act Directory prep. So this is the time to just relax and we'll be back. Desktop Experience Edition. So if you stayed with me, congratulations. You made it through your upgrade, in-place upgrade, I should say. Um, and congratulations. So everything should be in order as soon as I log in here. Now the server itself is significantly slower uh, display-wise. I, I haven't quite figured out why that is on a virtual machine. I noticed that the resource for the hard drive is like always spinning, moving really, really slowly. But uh, as you can see here, it takes forever to load up the display. Um, I did notice though after a after doing the uh, Windows updates, it did solve this problem. So you're definitely going to want to do your updates uh, after you get this installed. And obviously, last warning, which is do your backups. They're going to save you in the time if you need to do rollbacks or uh, anything like that. Uh, but otherwise, 
All the power to you. Thank you for viewing. Hopefully this shows up like it did right now. And uh, as you can see, we have our two test uh, ones, the file, one's the folder, and Active Directory, really, ah, Active Directory will be installed. If you're doing this on a virtual machine, again, I do uh, one more suggestion, which is reinstall those VMware tools. It does solve a lot more problems. All right, so solves a lot of issues with the slowness and the sluggishness, and gets those drivers reinstalled for you. Anyways, thank you again for watching another episode on Vitech. Have a good one.